Remember this face? I didn't think so. It has been a hot minute, and by hot minute I mean probably two years, since I filmed a video and I was kind of feeling nostalgic and missing YouTube, so I decided I wanted to film one. And also, I got my September Mercy bag, so I thought I would film what I got in this month's Etsy. So I'm going to just get right into it. The bag, it's cute, it's metallic. Um, using their typical um, sort of style, they always had the bag like this. I think they've changed it up maybe once in the past like 10 months and I've been subscribed to Ipsy for I think three years now and this is their favorite style bag. So the bag is cute, it feels pretty tough like it would stand up to makeup which is obviously good because some of their bags are not so tough and have been ruined by makeup which kind of makes no point. So also makes no sense. <laughs> so getting into the bag. Getting into the bag, the first thing, which is what got stuck in the zipper, would be this uh, lovely crown brush, um, angled brush, and I usually get super excited if I see that I'm getting a brush in my bag because one can never have too many makeup brushes. Um, so it's kind of a mediocre, it's extremely thin, I don't know if you can see how tiny that is, it's extremely thin, um, but the, the hair is soft. And um, a nice feature about this brush too is, I don't know if you can see, there are um, spots for your fingers to fit. So obviously this is a sort of contour slash blush brush. Um, and with the, the finger, like the finger dense, then it makes it really comfortable to hold in your hand and to blend away. Um, I did try to use this today. Um, I wasn't super impressed. Most of my brushes are Sedona Lace and I have some Morphe ones. Um, so I just resorted back to my Morphe because I know that works and I tried to use this and it didn't really do anything so maybe because it is so um, so small then it would be better for highlighting and as you can tell mama likes to glow so <laughs> maybe I'll try that with highlighter tomorrow see if that works a little bit better second product be a bombshell um, nail polish I always 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 get be a bombshell products in my ipsy bag this is in the shade holy fuchsia which is no surprise whenever i do get nail polish it is whatever the hot pink absurd color is um you could have gotten hot pink or i think navy blue in the be a bombshell and of course i got the hot pink um it is a little bit of like a dark hot pink so maybe i can make it work for fall um not like too excited but it could have been worse third product is this uh, Briojo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Now, I have had very damaged hair since I was probably 12 years old. I've dyed my hair for at least nine years, 10 years. So my hair is very damaged now. Obviously I've chopped it off. I know it's been a hot minute since I saw all you guys. I have glasses and nose piercing. My hair is chopped off. It's blonde. There's a lot of changes. But Homegirl's hair is still very damaged because I've colored it for an absurd amount of time. So I appreciate getting things like this, but at the same time, I get a deep conditioner almost every single month. Um, I have about three Mark Anthony ones just waiting to be used because it's it's all I get. Now I want to check, um, there are no silicones in this product though, and I do appreciate that because I just watched um, Kathleen Lights. I don't know if you guys know Kathleen Lights on YouTube. She's one of my favorite human beings. Um, and she made her um, natural hair care routine and she pointed out that silicone and dimethicone um, as an ingredient in hair products makes your hair feel soft, but it's not actually helping you in any way. So I've actually been super conscious of checking the ingredients of all my deep conditioners and all that to make sure that there are no silicones. And of course, all the ones that I have are filled with dimethicone. So it feels really good, but it's not actually doing anything, which makes a whole lot of sense. Um, so this one is sulfate free, paraben free, silicone free, phthalate free, has no artificial colors, and no chemical fragrance. So I'm a little bit excited to try that because hopefully it will do some actual healing for my poor hair. The fourth product I have in here is the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. Um, I was really surprised that I got this because typically if it's advertised that we're getting, that there's a possibility of getting like a high-end thing, then I don't get it. So I was very surprised. The only thing is with this packaging, I don't know if you can tell, if there's not really a secure lid, it kind of just fits back into place and I really feel like this is going to dry out very, very quickly. And I assume it's just because it's a deluxe sample, it's not the full size, it makes perfect sense, but I still feel like it rocks back and forth even when it's closed, so I feel like air can really get in there. And mascara dries out quick enough on its own, so I feel like that might dry out. And the last product I have is this Tristique uh, Highlighting Stick mini highlight stick in the shade Maldives Luminescent. 
Um, Tristique, again, is a very Ipsy famous ba uh, brand. Um, I've gotten plenty of products from them. This is just a highlighting stick, and as I said, Mama likes to glow, so I will swatch this for y'all. I don't know if you can really tell, my lighting is superb. Um, it's a very light champagne color. Now, also, I did try to try this today. I did try to try this. I did try to use it today. I put it on top of the powder, and I don't know if any of you are familiar with the What's Up by um, Benefit, um, and I even have a NYX um, liquid illuminator. And I can put that on top of powder, and it doesn't disturb my makeup. This I put on today on top of my powder because I figured it wouldn't disturb it, and it did. It pulled off my foundation all down my nose. I had, like, a line, and I couldn't blend it away, so I ended up redoing my whole face. Um, so I do like it. I'm just gonna have to be like make sure that I'm definitely using this before um, I put my foundation on, or you know, like before I set it with powder because it does get disturbed if you put it on top of powder. So that is my September Ipsy review. I'll show you the bag one more time. I would probably give this month a three out of five. I am mildly intrigued by a few things I have. I'm really excited about the mascara. Um, the deep conditioner, I'm a little bit more excited about now that I know that there are no silicones in it and it might actually help heal my hair. Um, overall, not too shabby. It's always something to look forward to. And for $10 a month, why not? Um, if you want to sign up, then I'll include my link down below. Just sign up. <laughs> it's $10 a month. You get five deluxe samples um, delivered to your mailbox every single month. 